Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope you all guys are doing amazing as always and it's me Joe as always and today I want to talk about the Crow 2024 and to be exact I want to talk about why Bill Skarsgård did such an amazing job as Eric Draven. Now this is gonna probably be the last time I'm talking about the Crow 2024. I have already posted my non-spoiler review and I have also talked about why I like the movie and what I think the story is really about. So if you want to check out some of those videos where I talk about the story overall, you can check those out. Today I just want to talk about Bill Skarsgård and why I think he was so good in this movie. Now listen, Crow, this remake had so many versions that never got made. So many actors that were supposed to be Eric Draven but never been. Including, for example, Jason Momoa, the Aquaman himself, the Lobo, the future Lobo of the DC Universe. He was supposed to be Eric Draven and I just find that fascinating just because Eric, that just because Jason Momoa is a big guy, you know? And so uh, just imagining him as Eric Draven, it just doesn't sit right with me even though I love Jason Momoa. I think that he's a wonderful actor and a wonderful person, but I just can't imagine him as Eric Draven. So, you know, we've had many uh, possible actors that would portray Eric Draven, we've had so many directors, and then finally we got Bill Skarsgård as Eric Draven and uh, Rupert Sanders as the director. And I really have to say that Bill Skarsgård did such a wonderful job with this version of Eric Draven. And he's maybe even better than the movie he's in. What I mean by that is that this movie, again, I really enjoyed it. I thought that it was pretty good. It definitely had some issues, including some pacing issues. But overall, I really enjoyed what uh, Rupert Sanders made. I thought I, I think that it's pretty good. It's pretty solid. But uh, Bill Skarsgård is such an amazing actor. And here, I think it's his best role to date. Like, you know, I'm thinking about all the stuff he's been in, but I think that this is the best thing he's been in. I mean, the best performance, not the best movie he was in, but this is definitely his best and most strong performance, because obviously with Eric Draven comes a lot of emotions, right? It's sort of like this bag of emotions. And so, uh, you know, he had to be... Uh, pretty strong to portray someone like Eric Draven, and I think that he nailed it. And the complexity of the character and and everything like that, it's just, this movie is very rich when it comes to the characters, right? And especially Eric and Shelley, right? And so Eric uh, had to be portrayed by someone who's, you know, a really strong and well-versed and just great actor, you know, that can portray emotions through just, you know, his face, basically, right? And that's what, uh, you know, uh, Skarsgård is pretty good at, obviously, because he portrayed Pennywise, the dancing clown, and, uh, you know, he's just very good, you know, with makeup on. So I think that Bill Skarsgård was a perfect choice, honestly. Again, I sort of can't imagine some of those other actors. I have nothing against them, but I think that choosing uh, Bill Skarsgård was the right call. And he's wonderful in the movie, again, because he's such a charismatic guy and he just oozes charisma in this movie. He's, again, he's amazing in this movie. And uh, when I watched, like, an interview they did, like, a week ago, he was talking about uh, his inspiration and he said he mentioned musicians like Lil Peep and that sort of these kind of people, those were the um, inspiration for the character, right? And I think that it's wonderful, and you can totally see sort of this uh, broken young guy in the movie, you know, Eric Draven, and, and it's wonderful. Again, it's a wonderful performance, and I even saw, so you know, some really negative reviews uh, for this movie, but they also mentioned that uh, Bill Skarsgård was actually pretty good as Eric Draven, which, you know, brought me a lot of joy, because you can tell that Bill Skarsgård is just trying very hard to impress and, you know, to uh, create something really, really good, to create a very unique performance, and I think that he achieved it. So, 
Uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything that I want to say about Bill Skarsgård here. I think he's a wonderful crow, and uh, I think that people in like 10-15 years, you know, may look back at this movie and they may appreciate this movie a little more because this movie is getting dragged. This movie is getting so much hate that's so unnecessary and... People are allowed to have their own opinions, of course, but, uh, you know, sometimes people will just jump on a hate train and it's no good, you know? And again, I really enjoyed this one and Bill Skarsgård was just phenomenal. And I think that people just might look at this movie again, like 15 years from now, when uh, people will stop saying that this is the worst movie ever made. <laughs> And they will look at this movie and they will really appreciate Bill's performance here because it is really, really wonderful. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care and bye.